welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to uh, focus on one non destructive test uh, which is known as ultrasonic pulse velocity uh, it is also called as upv test okay so basically this test is used for qualitative assessment of strength of concrete so it assess the condition of the structural member based on recorded ultrasonic velocity so i am going to discuss in detail in later slides about this velocity so basically it differentiate the quality of the concrete based on the velocity recorded velocity so the quality assessment means what quality in terms of it evaluate internal cracks voids delamination and other damages in concrete and generally these deterioration are due to aggressive chemicals or environmental effects okay so basically this test help us to evaluate the severity of the deterioration okay so if i summarize this slide so upv test is basically used to assess the quality of the concrete so quality is in terms of like are there internal cracks voids or delamination okay so this is the principle you can just go through it now uh, actually how it works that i am going to explain okay so first i will start with the instruments so first is pair of transducer okay uh, so here you can see uh, the pair of transducer one will act as a transmitting transducer and one will act as a receiving transducer second is the display unit so here you can see uh, the display unit okay third one is the calibration rod so here you can see the white glass type of rod that is the calibration rod fourth one is the cables here you can see the set of the cables okay and fifth one is the gel okay so here you you can see one bottle is there so that is the bottle of the gel okay now uh, i will show you how to work out this instrument okay here you can see one concrete member on one side you have to attach the transmitting transducer okay here you can apply the gel uh, uh, you can find this in the bottle similarly you have to fix the receiving transducer okay and then you know the length okay so time will be uh, recorded through the instrument so we know that velocity is equal to length divided by time so length is known time is recorded from that you will get the velocity so velocity is the output of the upv test okay and that output is correlated with the quality of the concrete right so this is the working of the working principle of upv test now there are uh, different ways you can attach the transmitter and receiver first and most efficient is direct transmission where transmitter and receiver are exactly on opposite side okay so you know the formula velocity v is equal to l upon t so this is the length and time will be recorded 
second semi direct transmission here you can see uh, here transmitter is on this side and receiver on other side but they are not exactly opposite okay in this case this is the length so how to get this length so we have to use the formula square root of a square plus b square where a is this distance and b is this distance right so through this you can get the length and divide it by time you will get the velocity there is another way that is called as indirect or surface transmission where transmitter as well as receiver both are on the same side okay now we know the formula v is equal to l upon t so length will be distance between transmitter and receiver so this is the l okay now very important point is there in this particular slide that the maximum energy is propagated at right angle to the face of transmitting transducer thus best results are obtained for direct transmission or cross probing so what is there in this point let's get back to the slide here you can see this is the surface of the transmitter perpendicular to this means like this most of the energy will propagate so it is better to set the transmitter here sorry receiver here okay that's why we get very good results in the direct transmission okay here you can see transmitter is here so most of the energy is getting propagate here similarly this transmitter is here most of the energy is getting propagate here so in these two cases uh, the results may not be accurate so you have to try for the direct transmission okay there is one another point if you are using the surface probing means both transmitter and the receiver are on the same side okay and in that in that case if you get a velocity equal to 3 km per second or more then you can increase the result by 0.5 km per second okay so that flexibility is given to us if your recorded velocity is 3 or more than 3 km per second then you can add 0.5 km per second now these are the actual applications of the direct indirect and semi direct method so here you can see first direct method you can see the transmitter and the receiver are exactly on the opposite side and this is the best method you can apply this for the beam or girders now here you can see indirect method where both transmitter and receiver are on the same side okay uh, this may be used uh, or it is applicable to slab because it is difficult to access other side or there are uh, walls concrete walls if are there as you can see here and then third one is the semi direct method you can see transmitter and receiver are like 90 degree to each other okay so sometimes when column is there and if we access the column on the two sides only then you can use this method also okay now let's come to the interpretation how to interpret the result as i told you in upv test that display unit will show you velocity okay if that velocity 
is greater than 4.40 km per second the quality of the concrete is excellent between 3.75 to 4.40 it is good 3 to 3.75 is doubtful and less than 3 it is poor okay so this is how you can interpret the results as i told you velocity is nothing but length upon time or distance traveled divided by time so why lesser values of velocity indicate poor quality of the concrete the reason is if there is a crack void or flaw inside the concrete because of that the pulse needs to travel around that discontinuity okay for example transmitter he is here receiver is he here and suppose here uh, there is some void so that wave needs to travel a long path to reach the receiver because of that length will increase okay and velocity will decrease okay so you can refer this is code also is 516 part 5 section 1 regarding upv test so there are many factors that affect the pulse velocity like what is the path length contact between transducer and concrete size and shape of the member moisture content temperature if there is reinforcing bars your results will be uh, you know vary stress to which the structure is subjected presence of cracks and voids this point we have discussed in the last slide so all these factor do affect the results and the results will affect the interpretation so you have to take care of all these things thank you so much please like share subscribe real civil youtube channel thank you Thank you so much.